really, from the bottom of my heart. Good afternoon, beloved Glide family. Love you more. Love you more. And just, just to correct the record, former PA announcer of the San Francisco Giants. It's all right, I got a 2014 World Series ring on. And I got two other ones. I didn't mean it to get so raucous up in here today, but actually Cecil would want me to do that, right? My husband and I, he's up here for moral support. It's a hard day for me today, y'all Mother's Day. Um, mama left us about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and Reverend Cecil and Jan, exactly where we were sitting today, comforted mommy when we brought her here after daddy died. So Albert, Kim, the entire Williams family, Tommy and I express our deepest love, our deepest sympathy, our deepest gratitude, because he was a bonus father to me like he was to everybody else. You had to share him with everybody, and we are so, so appreciative. One thing he enjoyed is when I would try to preach. Like when I'd be on the stage with him, I would feel the spirit and work with the change band. Y'all feel me right now? Here we go. He is my hero. My bonus daddy. A visionary. A revolutionary. A rebel, a pastor, spiritual leader, San Francisco treasure and icon. That was good, y'all. And a man truly of the people, truly of the people. A lot of men say that about themselves, and it ain't true. And you know who I'm talking about. One in particular. My relationship with the Rev is longer than my marriage. It's like the best relationship and the most healthy relationship I've had in my life. You know, I love you, baby. And apparently, Reverend Cecil officiated many a wedding, ours too. He is also my birthday twin, September 22nd. He officiated our wedding. Reverend Cecil and Jan counseled us throughout our marriage. And prior to, um, I met Cecil through my work at 106 KMEL. The Morning Zoo, back late 80s, early 90s. Reverend Cecil, I don't know if y'all know or remember this. Every Friday morning at 8.45, he was our spiritual leader on the Morning Zoo. He did shtick with us. He already had a voice for radio. He was perfect, so he did his shtick. And then we allowed him all the time he needed to talk about the services that Glide provides and to round up our listeners to volunteer. It was incredible. I mean, just who, what other pastor would be on the People Station 106 came Yale? <laughs> of course. He knew who we reached. He knew he could reach young people through us, and he did it brilliantly. A memory that I cherish that I must share, one of the experiences that impacted me so deeply after the Rodney King verdict, Rev rode with us in the KML street team van. And we rode all through San Francisco and he had a bullhorn and we were begging everybody yeah. to protect the community. Yeah. Don't tear up the community. We know you're mad. We're all mad, we're all upset. But we traveled the whole city in the street team van and he spoke to everybody. And then, in that moment, I realized that I can use my voice in the same way. Long before I worked at that ballpark, Reverend Cecil dubbed me the voice of San Francisco. Not me, it was he. It was he, he was the voice of San Francisco. He was the soul of this city and beyond. So since I met him, 
through my work at KML, I'm going to leave y'all <laughs> with a song. I mean, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm too, I'm too raw today. I'm too raw today. I, I don't have a voice today, but I just want to say in the words of In Vogue and Salt and Pepper, what a man, what a man, what a mighty, mighty good man. Rest in peace, Reverend Cecil. You have more than earned your wings. Fly up to your beloved Jan. Go be reunited with your beloved Jan. Fly on up to the heavens, Cecil. 